Cool. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Mr. Wayne. Today we're going to be doing the Rates of Photosynthesis GCSE Biology Practical. What is the practical about? So basically, we've got pondweed in a boiling tube um, with sodium, hydrogen, carbonate and distilled water. And what we will hopefully see is that if we think back to the photosynthesis equation where we have carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of light gives us oxygen and glucose. What we should see here is that um, when we have the lamp on, we start to see bubbles of oxygen coming from the pond reed itself. So, in order to set up the practical, what we've done is uh, we have a light source here. So, in this case, I'm using the lamp. Um, I've measured out um, at various distances along a ruler. So, we're going to use 20 centimetres, we're going to use 40 centimetres, and at 60 centimetres. And what we should see is that as we move the pond reed further away from the light source, we get um, less and less oxygen produced. Okay, so yeah, in this practical, we're gonna be measuring light intensity as our um, limiting factor and our variable. What we need to remember is that, um, in all, as with all experiments, is that we keep the rest of the experiment exactly the same. So in this case, um, there's a couple of things we need to consider. So I have a thermometer here, um, which I'm going to keep in the water. And just to make sure, we measure the temperature of the water itself. Obviously, over time, we're going to get um, increased temperature because of the light source. So that's something we need to bear in mind, but hopefully the temperature should stay relatively similar. Uh, obviously our variable that we're changing is going to be the distance away from um, the light. Yep, so this practical is all about rates of uh, photosynthesis, and the way we're going to measure that in this situation is to measure the amount of bubbles that we see coming off the pond reed uh, every minute at the different uh, distances. Okay, so I'm going to get this started. Um, if I turn on my lamp, and what I'm going to do is just give it a minute to start set off, and then hopefully what we should start to see is bubbles coming from the plant itself. There we go. So we've got um, the pond weeds now starting to, to photosynthesize. We're getting this oxygen coming off the plant. So what I'm going to do is start our timer, and then I'm also going to start taking notes of how many bubbles we see over the minute. Great stuff. So now we're going to move um, the pond reed another 20 centimetres away from the, the light source. And actually, I'm going to do that multiple times. Uh, and then we're going to repeat the process and then see how, um, how the rate changes as we get further and further away. Okay, now we've finished that, uh, we've got our results, so I'm going to quickly go over those. So what we can see is that um, as we start the experiment, the rate of photosynthesis was quite quick, um, and actually at both 20 centimetres and 40 centimetres, the rates were very, very similar. At this point, we could probably um, assume that light wasn't the rate limiting factor. Uh, as we moved away, what we found is that the, um, obviously the light intensity drops off quite significantly and then the amount of um, oxygen we're getting produced really, really drops off. Um, and if we plot that on a graph, what you'll see is that um, you'll see a very, very steady decline over time. So yeah, so that's the, that's the practical. Um, if you enjoyed this video, drop us a like and hopefully see you soon.